Okay, Scrum Masters, how do you set the length of your team's sprint? And I'll be honest with you, that's a trick question because the answer is you don't. Sprint length is set by the team, set by the developers, the product owner, and you, the Scrum Master. It's set by the entire team negotiating, making a decision. Sprint length is not set by the project manager. It's not set by all the other teams that are on the project. Every scrum team determines their own sprint length. They determine what length works best for them. And while we do recommend that you are consistent with your sprint length, because it really does help your team um, know how much to load into the sprint. It helps your product owner in predicting where we're going to be three or four sprints, three or four months down the road. Um, there's nothing wrong with the team changing the sprint length and experimenting with different sprint lengths or even running a different sprint length for a variety of different reasons. But sprint length is a team decision. Now, there is one other factor that will play into how long should your sprint be, and that's what I call product backlog volatility. Now, what I mean by that, product backlog volatility is the frequency with which the product backlog changes, okay? So if you've got yourself a product backlog, that doesn't change very often. And generally, you'll see that with a product that is eight, nine, 10 years old. There's nothing really new happening to it. In other words, it's, it's kind of aged. It's in its middle age, and we're basically just keeping it up to date you're gonna see that your product backlog isn't very volatile. It doesn't change that frequently. And as a result, it's not uncommon for teams to run a longer sprint. Now they don't have to. They could still, we like running a one week sprint. Hey, all right, hey, whatever, okay? It is a team decision. But if the backlog is really volatile, so for example, if you're working on a new product, new technology, it's changing fast, the new requirements coming in all the time, that product backlog is changing every day, okay? You're gonna to wanna to run the shortest sprint your team is capable of running. Whether that's a couple days or a week or even two weeks, that's fine, okay? Uh, it, but it's a team decision. If your sprint is, now there are some dangers. If your sprint is too long, uh, you may discover that team members feel like, hey, we got lots of time, so they become less focused. Uh, and if you're seeing that happen, it's, it's a variation of what's called Parkinson's law, that work expands to fill the time and space available. So if your sprint's too long, work will literally take longer to do as a result. If your sprint's too short, it's gonna be panic from the minute sprint planning ends to the, to the minute the sprint review begins. We're gonna be in a state of panic and no team wants to be stressed out, panicked. So. Choose wisely, as a team, what sprint length works for us. And don't, don't feel afraid to, to experiment. If you run a two-week sprint and you don't like it, try a one-week sprint, try a three-week sprint. Try a three-week sprint and you don't like it, go back to two. Or try the one, okay? It really is, it's a team decision. So scrum masters, you don't make this decision by yourself. Managers, you don't make this decision at all. It is a team decision, and hey, if your team isn't sure where to start, start with two weeks and go from there. That's the most common link. Have fun and good luck.